We're taking a walk through the book of Revelation. If you would like to give your or life to the Lord Jesus Christ or rededicate your life to the Lord Jesus Christ, there is a prayer in the description area below. It starts off with Father. The prayer simply states in different words that I'm using now. It says, Father, I repent in Jesus' name. Lord, I'm a sinner. I believe that you died on the cross for me. I'd like to give my life and rededicate my life to you, Lord. Please take me back as your child. I thank you for doing that in Jesus' name, in Jesus' name, in Jesus' name. Amen. If you said this prayer, you are a Christian now. You must find a Holy Spirit-filled church and attend it. This is chapter 14, verses 6 through 20. It's important to remember that in the book of Revelations, it doesn't read like an ordinary book. Things happen in different times. And I saw another angel fly into the midst of heaven, having the everlasting go gospel to preach unto them that dwell on the earth and to every nation and kindred and tongue and people. He was saying with a loud voice, Fear God and give glory to him for the hour of his judgments is come and worship him that made heaven and earth and the sea and the fountains of waters. And then followed another angel saying, Babylon is fallen, is fallen. That great city, because she made all nations drink the wine of her anger, of her fornication. And the third angel followed them, saying with a loud voice, If any man worship the beast and his image and receive his mark in his forehead or in his hand, the same shall drink the wine of the anger of God, which is poured out without mixture into the cup of his indignation. Indignation means anger, and he shall be tormented with fire and brimstone in the presence of the holy angels and in the presence of the Lamb. I'll pause here and say that 9 and 10 simply means that any person on this earth, and this is going to happen in a lot of our lifetimes, receives the mark of the beast. It'll be plain and simple. It will say mark of the beast. It will be put in your hand. It'll be a tattoo. It'll be in your forehead, such and such. If you receive that mark, if you take that willingly, the anger of God will come upon you at some point. The torment of fire and brimstone will be that person's reward. Now this will be extremely hard to reject. Parents will take this mark because they don't want to, to not feed their children, to not pay their rent to not eat themselves, to not work. But you must not take this mark. No matter what any man says, listen to God and listen to these scriptures because this is the truth. God will not understand if you take the mark of the beast, if you bow down before the image of the beast. The fire and brimstone will be all of eternity. 
So it will be better for you, for me, to suffer without and even be martyred, killed for our Lord and Savior. Just as he has done for us, some of us will be martyred. Verse 11, and the smoke of their torment ascended forever and ever, and they have no rest day or night, who worship the beast and his image, and whosoever receives the mark of his name. Here is the patience of the saints. Here are they that keep the commandments of God and that the faith of Jesus. Now I heard a voice from heaven saying unto me, Write, Blessed are the dead which die in the Lord. Henceforth from now on, Yea, saith the Spirit, that they may rest from their labors, and their works do follow them. And he looked, now this is John, he was a disciple of Jesus Christ, one of the twelve, that is writing this book of Revelation, number 14, and I looked, and behold, a white cloud and upon the cloud, one sat like the Son of Man, Jesus, having on his head a golden crown, and in his hand was a sharp sickle. And another angel came out of the temple of God, crying with a loud voice to him that sat on the cloud. The angel said, Thrust in thy sickle and reap, for the time is come for thee to reap. The harvest of the earth is ripe. And another angel came out from the altar which had power over fire and cried with a loud cry unto him that had the sharp sickle saying, thrust in the sh your sharp sickle and gather the cluster of the wine, the vine of the earth for her grapes are fully ripe. I believe that the Lord it's going to gather the good fruit in this, the fresh, ripe, ready fruit in this, these scriptures here. And the Lord thrust his sickle into the earth and gathered the vine of the earth and cast it into the great wine press, press of the, and the wrath of God. And the angel thrust his sickle into the earth and gathered the vine of the earth. Now the earth are not the saints. These are the people that have turned their back on God and refuse to repent. So the people of God, God is going to gather up. But the people that refuse to follow the Lord this is their the mine. Fire and brimstone and the earth thrust his sickle into the earth and gathered the vine of the earth and cast them into a great wine press of the anger of God. And the wine press was trodden without the city. It went all the way across the earth and the and blood came out from the wine press instead of wine which will come out of the saints even unto the horse bridles 
by the space of a thousand and six hundred furlongs. That was chapter 14, verses 6 through 20. Tune in to chapter 15. If you liked the video, please give a thumbs up so others can take advantage of it. Comments, leave one for yourself and leave one for a prayer request for yourself or for a family member or a friend. Subscribe to the channel if you like. Feel free to share the video and share the uh, prayers that are in the description area below this video. Have a great day in the mighty name of Jesus Christ and keep pressing into your relationship with the Most High God. In Jesus' name, in Jesus' name, in Jesus' name.